After I showed off the Apollo Lunar Module Trainer from the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, some people have been asking me about what happened to the upper stages of the lunar landers. Are they in orbit around the moon or around the sun? So let's go over it super quick. Apollos 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 all launched with lunar modules. Of those, only Apollos 10 through 17 went to the moon, and of those, only Apollos 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17 landed on the moon's surface. Now, those that did land had a bevy of scientific instruments that they brought with them, many of which were set up on the surface and left behind to continue gathering data. And one of those experiments was a seismic experiment. The idea was measuring the kind of reverberating sound after a meteor impact would help them understand what the moon's internal structure is like. But scientific instruments need to be calibrated. It's really hard to build something on Earth, calibrate it, pack it up, launch it to the moon, set it up on the moon, and then expect it to work seamlessly. So they had to calibrate it, and the way they calibrated it was using the lunar module's ascent stages. So after the lunar landing portion of the mission, the crew would launch off the descent stage using it as a launch pad and rendezvous with the command module using the ascent stage. They'd transfer back into the command module, and then they had this dead spacecraft. They knew the mass of the ascent stage and the velocity it was going on impact. That allowed them to calculate, based on what they saw on their seismic data when it impacted, how they needed to tweak any data that they got from those seismic experiments. Little sidebar, when Apollo 12 punted its lunar module ascent stage into the moon, it rang like a bell. The wave just went back and forth for like an hour and no one knows why. Apollo 13's lunar module is in the bottom of the ocean. They needed to put it down, or try as best as they could, to put it down somewhere very far from humans because there was nuclear material on board. Apollo 10's lunar module is the only one that's still in heliocentric orbit, aka orbiting around the sun. And the crew joked that it is so full of biological material, aka bags of human waste, that you could probably clone and create a new crew of Apollo 10, which is honestly pretty gross.